Hello, and welcome back to Daily Diaries. I've just literally woken up, and these rooms are so hot here, it's ridiculous, and now my face is all swollen and puffy and horrible, but we compete today in the Synchro event. Obviously, the last time we competed was at the World Cup in Japan, at the Olympic pool. <laughs> and, Good morning, and now we're gonna get another chance to compete again. Yeah, at the European Championships. The difference with, this, with, with the fact that the European Championships taking place after the World Cup, which is a little bit weird that some people might think of the fact that you've just competed again in the World Cup and now you're competing at the Europeans. But the difference is with this competition is that the Russia was using a B team in the World Cup and they're using the A team here at the European Championships. So in theory the European Championships was going to be a harder event because China wasn't at the World Cup. I don't know if that makes any sense to you at all because it's very early in the morning for me but Essentially, it's going to be a fun competition because we're going to actually get to compete against all of the people that we're going to compete against at the Olympics except from China, Mexico, Japan and Korea. So, half of the people that are competing at the Olympics are going to be here. And Russia, I would say, is one of our biggest rivals for uh, a medal. So, it's going to be a fun competition to have a little bit of a hit out. And it's the last time we're going to compete synchro before the Olympics. So, I'm going to go down to the pool, get ready and it should be fun. Yay! Oh, the little things flopping around. <laughs> this. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I made your present. I made your present. I made your present. I made your present. I made and, but yeah, you, they, people want to see it on. Uh, wait, wait, was it on? <laughs> I think Noah was pretty happy with his present. <laughs> now we've got to do a COVID test before we go to back on the plane later, so... I don't know if I'm going to be able to film it going up my nose, but they go in deep, let me tell you that. Not in a good way. <laughs> Which side? This side. This side? Yes, please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Ooh. So after that lovely COVID test, now at the pool we're about to start warm up and getting in because it's ready to go for synchro and this time it's a straight final so it's going to be fun! the competition and we won a gold medal uh, we just got the mix zone now where we're doing all of like the BBC stuff and then we get to collect our medallion Yay! So yesterday was fun and here it is. Medal for the European Championships. So I like the way that they've put it on the back of the thing. And then this is like a wave. Or like crinkled up something. Yeah, really happy with that. And then we gotta go again today for the individual event. So I've just done some of my like flywheel things like I don't know if you watched my previous video when I was in Tokyo for all the competition just to get the legs going and then I am um, gonna go down for breakfast warm up and then there's the there is a prelim for this competition so I'm gonna go down head down there for the prelim it's gonna be fun you know last day of competition and I get to go home and see the little man because yesterday when he was watching me look at this
right. Literally just melts my heart, so I'm very excited to get home and see my boys. Just finished the prelim and nothing amazing, nothing too bad. I missed my third dive a little bit, well, I say a little bit, a lot of it. But everything's moving really well and the speed's good, so I just need to figure it out for the final. So yeah, heading back to the pool, chill, get some food, and then I'll be back. I'll be back. So back at the hotel after the individual competition. Some highs and some lows, let's just say that. You know, some good dives in there and some not so good dives. I've got the highest scoring dive I've ever got before in a competition. Really? Yeah. 109? Like, yeah. yeyeah. It's equal to what I got at like a World Series. Come on! Lance is FaceTiming me. Hold on a second. Hello? just spoke to Lance and he's going to bed. We are being picked up at 3.30 in the morning to go home, which I'm so excited about. Um, but yeah, you know, I can't even remember what I said about the competition, but essentially there were some highs and lows. Um, turns out that both PBs, my individual and synchro com PB are now in Budapest at this pool. Oh, not from today, the individual, let me just say that. Um, but you know, happy, come away with you know lots of technical things like fix that I wanted to do, just some little mistakes here and there. But silver medal, and you know, three out of four ain't bad. Uh, so we've got a few more weeks of training now leading into the Olympics, um, but we're gonna go home. And I think we got, we might have a training camp next week. I'm not entirely sure, but first of all, I just wanna go to sleep and then I get to wake up and fly home and see Robbie. I'm and Lance. Lance. I'm Lance. Well, yeah. Don't forget that one. And you'll get to see me in a couple days as well. Yeah. Matty is in love with Lance. That, that's all we have to say. Lance is in love with me. You're, you're in love with each other. They like when I'm on FaceTime, it's always like, love you, Matty, Ma love you, Lance. <laughs> he loves it. We made it to the airport and managed to check in. It is now like, I don't know, maybe 5 a.m. because we've managed to have a little bit of a travel check in. It took a little bit longer than we thought because we had to try and fit all of our bags in, and or you know how it goes at the airport. Anyway, we're going to go through security and try and find coffee because I need it. Finally, going home, we're walking to the plane, getting on. Yeah. Not gonna be long and I get to squish my little baby's cheek! Yeah. So Robbie's about to come up the stairs and see me for the first time. Probably gonna be the most underwhelming re reaction ever, but I thought I'd film it anyway. So, here we go. I'm, I actually, I'm really like nervous because uh, I'm so excited to see him, but at the same time, so nervous because I haven't seen him for so long. Do you ever get that? I don't know if that's a thing with people seeing their kids for the first time. Let's see if you see him, surprise. <laughs> 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 So after a couple of days off, I go back to training tomorrow. And it'll actually be my birthday when I get back to training. How, actually it's in two days time. I'll be 27, how crazy. By the time you're watching this, I'm gonna be 27 already. Questions, 
What mental preparation techniques do you use on the competition day? I'm learning about mental preparation in GCSE PE theory at the moment and it's so interesting. You know, I always do a visualization before every dive uh, that I do in competition. Like I have a bit of a routine where I, you know, I have a drink at the bottom of the steps, then I go to the five meter and on the five meter I do my, um, like, like I cover my eyes with my chamois and I imagine myself doing the dive so that then I go to the seven meter, I do a physical run through and then when I get to 10 meter, I do like breathing work, like meditation at the back of the ball and then I go for it and I go into the into the dive essentially other question congratulations on the silver medal tonight do you usually talk with your family in FaceTime on FaceTime before a competition for good luck or do you want wait until it's over and congratulations on the fifth dive score I mean wow uh, thank you so yeah I mean I always speak to my family on FaceTime I mean it's like no, I don't necessarily do it out of ritual that I have to speak to them before a competition but if I get a spare chance and I'm just sitting there then I'll Give him a quick call and say hi, especially with Robbie now. Like I just want to see him all the time because when I'm away, I, I missed him so much. It was unbelievable. Uh, and as you can see by our little reunion, it was it was everything. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Okay, so there's a question. Can you tell us more about the book? How long have you been preparing for this? Maybe a special story as a teaser. Super excited and congrats for making it happen. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I'm really excited for people to be able to get to read this book. You know, it's filled with, it's not necessarily a traditional book of like this happened and then this happened and then this happened. It really kind of goes through each chapter. It's like a different lesson that I've learned through something that's happened to me, whether it be diving, whether it be in my life, whether it be my uh, love, whether it be with Robbie, whatever it is of something that's taught me a lesson. And I, you know, I know, I'm only 27, um, well I will be when you're watching this, I'm still only 26, don't know why I'm washing my hands away, but you know, sport really does teach you lots of valuable lessons and things that have happened in my life with losing people really close to me, meeting people, having to try and cope with pressure and anxiety and all kinds of different things and I go into a lot of detail about it, so I'm excited and slightly nervous about people reading it, um, but at the same time I hope you really enjoy it. Congrats with the gold again. Well done. The video of little Robbie saying that's my papa on Insta is so cute. I mean, I know it was literally when he saw me. I mean, he said like, that's my papa, mine. I mean, it melts my heart. But you know, coming back and giving him a cuddle right there was a whole different level of yeah. I missed him so much, and it's so nice to be back. Mm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment below what your uh, if you have any questions for next week. Subscribe. I think I said it all. And also there'll be a link about where you can order coming up for air, my new book. So I will see you next week. We're getting close to this Olympics now, guys. Can you believe it? Um, the next time I leave this country is to go to the Olympic Games. Crazy. Anyway, peace out.